you, sir. Peter. Shut up. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Good. Back to bullshit. Uh, I'm your host, Ty Ways, with my co-host, Simba from The Lion King, and his co-host, a random Italian guy. It's you. Okay, but you're not near the mic. Well. Hello. <laughs> Uh, last week's episode, we discussed Christopher Columbus and why Columbus Day is an insult to anyone named Christopher. Uh, I feel like this week's episode we should go a little bit, a little bit more recent uh, in history and discuss the Industrial Revolution and all of its consequences. Well, oh, consequent, you know, benefits. <laughs> Only good things have happened because of the Industrial Revolution. I can't think of a single bad thing. Please expound. So, yeah, as you know, the Industrial Revolution happened when Paul Inders invented the uh, printing press, right? And they needed, they actually needed something to print because he invented it before the invention of paper. And so they invented paper so they had stuff to write on. Um, paper being, of course, made out of birchwood trees, which is why, you know, I don't know if you've heard about like the trees in England turning dark. The reason why it was such a big problem is because they no longer had white paper. That's racist. It's not. It's not. Nah, uh, it's gotta no. be. It's not. It's During not. this month, no less? I don't know what you're talking about. It's the middle of June. Oh, I, yeah, you know what? On Juneteenth. That's my bad, guys. Um, yeah. It's not It's not actually racist, though. That's just simply, you know, they. it was much easier to make black dye than it was to make white dye. Um, and it was much easier to make white paper than it was to make black paper. And so, you know, when the trees started getting really ashy from all the dust being coughed up during the Industrial Revolution, uh, they had to, you know, reduce what, what the... What are the trees getting? Ashy. They're covered in ash. What a... That's gotta be racist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stop. Like, oh my god. Alright, all right. well, it's not. Continue your... They, had, they were covered in ash, like actual physical ash. Yeah, so... You know, when, when you get rid of, uh, when you have something covered in ash and the tree, it would grow around the ash and absorb it into itself, which just would make the trees darker. I will kill both of you if you say it again. Um, anyway, the, the problem with the dark trees was, <laughs> stop. The problem with the dark trees was that it wasn't as There's easy to, I will, trees. I will hurt you. <laughs> Why is there a problem with the dark trees? I was about to explain that. What are you, uh, Disney? Well, actually, Disney was a contributing factor to the Industrial Revolution. Walt Disney invented, uh, like, modern-day capitalism. No, he did not. He did, actually. So, modern-day... Walt Disney Capitalism wrote is when Walt Disney... <laughs> Dear liberals, if capitalism is so bad, then why Walt Disney? Happiest well, place on Earth? Question mark? Well, so see, see, Walt Disney actually had this idea that he could just barely pay people and they would work for him anyway, so long as he also controlled all the markets. I will hurt you. Right Stop. out of Andrew Carnegie's book. Uh, Andrew Carnegie uh, is not a real person. Yeah, it's just a fictional character made to be the mascot of Carnegie Mellon. No, he was actually made up by Walt. The Car uh, Andrew Carnegie was the original like Disney character. It was it was Andrew Carnegie, Oswald Dolky Rabbit, and then Mickey Mouse. What did he look like? Andrew Carnegie? He looked like a person, but because animation was Can so bad back me? then, Can I can't draw. And also this is the radio show. Can you draw um, for me? Right now. You know, you know. On because, spot. because you, you, when when you you the me. Disney invented Andrew Carnegie as, you know, I, I think we all remember the atrocity that is Ice Age Baby. Andrew Carnegie was worse than that because he came before, you know, so animation wasn't as developed back then. So, like, you know, the, uh, they, they just couldn't use him because he, he was just, like, a stick figure, basically, but just worse. He was, a, he was a shitty stick figure. Can I get a timeline on these events really quickly? 1800s. Late, early... No, just, okay. yeah, just okay. in the. No, I'm, I'm just, you know, just clarifying. That's all. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I just want to get a question on uh, what was Walt Disney's lifespan? 
Walt Disney was actually, uh, well, because, you know, capitalism, they've actually invented the cure for dying. Um, most people don't get it. I personally have access to it. Um, naturally. You know, yeah, naturally. Uh, I can give you access to it at some point, eventually, you know. But uh, Walt Disney had access to it, um, except for he actually had a real-life mouse named Mickey. Because mice are on the same as humans, it really just elongated Mickey's lifespan from, like, two years into, like... 50. So when Mickey died, Walt dropped the anti the anti death drug because um, he didn't want to live in a world that didn't include Mickey. That's why he died. The uh, the rumors about his frozen head are actually they're they're not true per se, but like um, he is actually still technically a Disney world. Uh, not his body or anything. He's just a ghost. Uh, he haunts it. Haunted Mansion is yeah yeah yeah. Haunted Mansion is actually like that's where he lives. Um, and all the other, like, ghost attractions there are, are legitimately just his friends. Why would a ghost choose to live in a place where the person get arrest? Oh, well, as we know, all ghosts can actually go anywhere. There's not, there's no such thing as being tied to a location. That was actually invented as an idea back in the 1920s by uh, Mary Shelley when she wrote uh, Frankenstein. So, as we know, because of this, uh, a lot of ghosts are misconstrued as being tied to a place, but some ghosts really are just assholes who like to hang around and bother people in popular places. Other ghosts just like to hang, you know, like there's there's this asylum somewhere in like Nevada that's haunted. Uh, the ghosts there just kind of try to hang out and it's, it's people who bother them because they're not supposed to be there. Spiritual loitering, if you may. Yes, yes, exactly. Spiritual loitering. We have spirit cops. Spirit cops, of course not. What, the police don't exist after you die. You can't, like, there's nothing bad that you can do. We have human cops. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Ghost ghosts, ghosts, yeah, they're already dead. They can't die. <laughs> 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 There's nobody in the studio, but oh my god. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I was so unprepared for that. Oh my god. So, yeah, uh, is there... What's the governing board for ghosts then? Well, there is you no could... governing board. Because... Well, there's so ghosts can't hold money or do a lot of stuff. They they also they can't hold anything. Yeah, ghosts always have the choice to move on. The ghosts that stay behind are just like selfish. dumb, yeah, selfish and stupid. And so the reason that uh, like you you know once you move on, you can still interact with the real world. You're just in literal paradise um, forever. Uh, well, some people aren't. Some people are tortured forever. But you know, a lot a lot of people are in paradise. And so what what ends up happening is that. Um, uh, some of the ghosts stayed behind because they thought they could create, like, a ghost society. Um, um, but they, uh, they could not actually, uh, like, do it because, like, what can you, like, you can't kill other ghosts. You can't touch another ghost. You can talk to them, but, like, the other ghost could simply just disappear in front of you and reappear somewhere else. So it's not even like you can stalk other ghosts. So there's no such like ghost on ghost crime is non-existent because it's practically impossible. Um, Walt Disney is trying to find a way to do it though. <laughs> trying to explore people in this life and the next. Yeah, yeah. Forever. Walt Disney was actually the uh, person who started the terms and conditions, uh, putting like your soul is mine in the contract. Um, back before you worked for him in the in the factories, you know the coal mines and stuff that Walt Disney owned, uh, he would actually just decide that you like he he would make you sign these terms. They weren't called terms and conditions back then; they were just called terms. Um, and so, conditions was too big of a word for a lot of the peasants. Yeah. Yeah. That's my question. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so Walt Disney would put in there and be like, oh, um, as you can, like, he would be like, your soul is mine. Um, because Walt Disney is friends with several ghosts, um, you know, in the death, in death and now, and in life he was. Like, so, what do you mean, like? Ghosts. Just ghosts. Can you imagine you're friends with any peasant ghosts, if I may? Oh, of course not. Of course not. No, 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 no. And I have another question in terms of... No, 
No, our belief of Satan is is actually just Satan. Um, it's a, it's pretty accurate, actually. Surpri- the Christians actually got one thing surprisingly right, and it was Satan. Wait, wait. So are you trying to say that the devil went down to Georgia? Is Walt Disney going to Florida? Perhaps. What about L.A. Anaheim? Well, Walt Disney actually never went to Florida. That was yeah. one of his clones. It was like yeah. a spinoff. Yeah, yeah, basically. Spinoff episode. Spinoff with a side character. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I totally remember how it started. Uh, well, I was telling you about the Industrial Revolution and how the, oh, uh, yes, 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 you know, yes. they were made paper out of birch wood, but, but, but the problem was that you guys thought that was racist, which I personally, you know, I, don't, I, think, I think that's racist of you to assume that the color of objects has anything to do with people in general, you know? That's kind of on you. That was very racist of us. Yeah, I agree. I, I think, you know, uh, so, well, you know, back to the Industrial Revolution, uh, and, and, well, there weren't consequences. Consequences? Uh, consequences is an ambivalent word. They can be negative or positive. No, no, it just, nothing happened because of the Industrial Revolution. No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, absolutely. There, it was a non-entity. Uh, Walt Disney um, had this idea back then, and so he, and a, he, he was a close friend with Henry Ford, obviously. Um, I mean, they share some beliefs. Well, yeah, well, because, you know, not to disguise, you know, just just for the sake of clarity, Walt Disney and Henry Ford were both awful people. They supported the Nazis, like yeah, they were anti semites. Yeah, they were anti semites. They were awful people. Um, and so their idea, the original idea for the Industrial Revolution, was at, was basically just like, so now we have paper. What can we do with it? And that's where money comes from. Actually, there there wasn't any monetary system before this, but after the printing press's invention, they realized they could print more money. I just need a quick clarification. So, you're alleging that I'm telling the, the truth. The only you know? consequence, the only thing to come out of the industrial revolution, yeah, was the invention of paper and therefore money. Yes. And therefore capitalism. Yes. But that's not a okay. Consequence. Yes. But, so, well, see, these things happened separately of the industrial revolution. The industrial revolution was just a way for Walt catalyst. Disney to get money. Yeah. But it, the, it's like the the industrial revolution was a result of the invention of money. No, the invention of money was not a result of the Industrial Revolution. But the Industrial Revolution caused the invention of money, no? No. Money was invented before the Industrial Revolution, which was then used as a way to get more money. Did I guess there are consequences because of the printing being press. like Disney. Yes, because of the printing press. Did the because you can just print more money. The chicken? There, there were no chickens or eggs. It's just money. It's just money. So, so in the classic the image egg. of the chicken or the egg, there's only money. Yes. Okay. That's, that's quite a profound social yeah. comment. The chicken yeah. doesn't matter, only money does. Yeah. Um, yeah. Money because a, as we all know, you can just print uh, more money, money and this was invented way back when, when Walt Should Disney and his friend Henry Ford just started printing money for the first time. This is, this is the first time anyone has ever had money. Well, anyone in Europe has had money, you know. At, at, in the West, we really only hear about Europeans. And the civilized uh, content. <clears throat> no, uh, no, 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 no. There, there, money was actually invented uh, way beforehand I'm not including British in, in a lot of Eastern Europe countries. Europe. That's true. That's just going every other European place. country, usually Italy. <laughs> I mean, that's where the printing press was actually invented. Italy during the Renaissance. It was. Or, it was invented in Italy by Walt Disney in 1814. So there was no, there was no Gutenberg in Germany and you know, the Protestant Reformation. Germany is not a real country. If Ty gets this narrative, I get mine. Ty, that feels you that, cannot. That feels despite this the nature of this show. I don't think it is the Ottoman Empire. Yeah. That is what it's called. Calling it Germany is just an act. I think that's. I think I, that's, I believe because of some very heinous historical. I think that's events, an inappropriate comment to the make. The claim of the lack of existence of Germany holds very negative connotation. Yes. Mm, so I only. I, I disagree. Was it, so was it Prussian? No, I'm not saying it never existed. I'm saying it doesn't exist. No. Yeah. So it did exist and it's been absolved. Oh, tell me about that. Well, well, Germany, as we know, is currently called Deutschland, right? Deutsch, Dutchland, Deutschland. Um. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I see. No, that's the more of a rebrand than yeah, abs- yeah. absolving it. Okay. Yeah, okay. P- pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's only called Germany in in the in the U.S. because we're wrong. Dutch. German. Or Prussian. Or, or Ottoman. No, no, no. Because just so you're both aware, that's like that's what they call Germany in Germany. I know. Okay. We are familiar with one word in Germany. That's the word. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I just, I want, for clarification, in case anyone's wondering, 
Uh, yeah, it's only called Germany in the U.S. because we're wrong and incorrect. Um, yeah, that's it. You know, I don't, I don't know what you guys were, thought I was implying, but I, uh, it wasn't whatever it was that you thought. I thought you were thoughting so that the, I was thinking. The viral TikTok clip of the little German boy who was drinking cola and playing Fortnite, Yippee. Where does that mean? Deutschland. Deutschland, yeah. Come on. The, is that a real oh, question? Yes. Like, this I, guy. I feel like you're, just, you're, not, you're just not tracking the conversation. I feel like you're just simply not tracking the conversation. I, I you know, it's well known that uh, as well. That's this is true. a perfectly That's linear and um, easy to understand conversation. So it is I very. I think it's very easy to understand if you just follow along. Get very dedicated to the logic, everything that we do, and try to like whiteboard it out and see the connection. Like a flowchart. I will. I, I will. In here. I will never purposefully contradict myself. In this in this show, just incidentally. Yeah, if I do it if I do it on accident, that's on accident. But I, so it's I, fine. Yeah. So anything that happens on accident is okay. Yeah. If I say anything that contradicts myself accidentally, then I like it's um. For so many yes, I think we can. If you know, if I contradict myself on accident, uh, it's not canon to the lore of bullshit. Oh, it's retcon. Yeah, it's retcon. Okay. It's out of the lore, right? Why are we still using canon? Well, because cannons hit harder than pistols. I mean, like you, you can you can shoot him, in, but like it's not gonna hurt as much as sending a like two ton ball through his chest. But what if you get one of those really strong guys that lifts the boulders and he just, like, he just catches lifts it? The cannon. It just catches it like a football. Well, you know, there's, nobody's actually strong enough for that. Um, it would go through his hands. Says you. But yeah, I've Are tested. You strong enough to do that? Yes, I am. So then, uh, so then, I, I'm so I'm actually a, like the physical human. I am so the only that human that can do it. Because everyone else is weaker than me. So even if you had like 99.9% .9 of my abilities, you still wouldn't be able to do it because I, like, I'm just at the brink of being able to do it. So you know? was that an accidental contradiction? Because you said nobody can do that, but you can do it. Well, I didn't say it was a body, did I? You said no. Okay. Are you a ghost? I could be. How, how is your relationship with Walt Disney? I hate him. I I was actually I beat him up once uh, back in back in eighteen I want to say eighteen thirty two it was. Um, you know he, he you know I was talking to him because he had a lot of money and I simply just didn't believe in listening to him ever. Uh, so I broke into his house and so he was he was complaining to me about stuff and he says to me, oh Jewish people suck and so I just I beat his ass right I laid him out right there. Of course, obviously. Like with a cane? That's that's very no, noble. No. Taking a page out of Andrew Jackson's book for since those who are interested, he's an eligible match. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, Valentine's Day's coming up. Well, you know, in a couple months. It is June. You know, it's June seventeenth right now. Yeah. Yeah. As established earlier. Two days from now is a big holiday. That's true. The, wait. Oh, Juneteenth is the nineteenth. That's my bad. Rip. Rip. <laughs> it's actually June 19th. That was, this uh, is, this is, as, as this said is previously, that's retcon. That's retcon from the record. Uh, you can't just... That, this was a revealing conversation. What about your claim of retconning? Is that retcon from the record? No. Uh, no. So, can you say retcon again? Retcon. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, retcon, like, rats from Good Mythical More. Like, we're going to dress up as rats and have a convention? No. Did you audience because we are dressed up all as red from red white? I'm well. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm too. I'm, I'm too. I'm too, I'm too I'm short white. to be red. That's true. That's very true. Don't That's look down accurate. Like that. No, short he can achieve he is only five in, foot even two. The top shelf, so. In this in this scenario, you're red. I'm Link because you know the body proportions. I'm the special guest star. Yeah, you're like yeah. When when they bring in Jack Harlow, I'm Jack Harlow. You're um. Have they brought on Jack? Harlow? They've definitely brought on Jack Harlow before. I stopped I watching them. them. I gotta get back into it. They're such great guys. Like, yeah, they seem like, it. like they bought smart. They made a career off of what we're doing right now. Exactly. That's for yeah. twenty years. Except they have a video. Throw a camera up there. Eat some. Eat some, eat some weird stuff. Well, I have a camera, but you know, you know that's a very suspicious. Thing. I don't love the way you said that. <laughs> what is that camera used for? Where is that camera? I haven't camera? used it for anything yet. It's in. It's in my room. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought you meant I have a camera. If the federal government told you to turn over that camera as evidence, what would be on it? Would you destroy it? Very quickly. I there's nothing on it at all. Like there's literally no videos on it. I just don't like the federal government. Based. It's 
stage right? Question mark. Stage oh, right. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, well, as we know, as we know, Walt Disney, uh, Henry Ford, and Andrew Jackson were all very close friends. That so, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 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 it does. Know. It does. That matches up in my books. Perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like, those guys totally didn't live in totally different timelines. Well, they did. Or time. They, they all lived from like I think I want to say Walt Disney was born in like 1783 um, and so it was up there then in 1832 50 what? yeah but he had immortality pills so he was That's basically true, true. 20 but he took it he took it at that point yeah he was say, he, so he, so he, he, didn't, he didn't get Mickey until I want to say like 1920 and then Mickey lived from 1920 to 1970s-ish and around, at that point you know what, Walt turned I, over his death pill did he die on sight or did he just live out like because you said it was twenty, did he live out another like seventy? Well, well, when years? you when you stop taking the immortality pill for about two days, you gain all of your age back. Like a bad hangover? Yeah, like immediately. Okay. You just age, immediately age, age, you just age up. Yeah. Um, you know, it won't. It will never affect me because I don't take. I'm just immortal anyway. Um, the, 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 the pill is made yeah. from your blood. <laughs> the pill is made from your blood. No. It actually it gets the bodies in your blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So because you have it, we're all on the same. So because you have it. No one because like yeah, 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 basically. Because you're safe. Yeah. The, the the only problem with the with the immortality pill is it just makes you live forever, uh, and look young forever. It doesn't cure any disease. So if you're like sick or have cancer, you'll just you have that forever, for and it will get worse forever. So how do you overturn the death pill, the anti-death pill? What do you mean overturn? You just stop taking it. It's let me take it every day. Yeah. Okay. You, you know you. Just is there take is it a four-week cycle, and you have like a sugar pill one week? No, you just every day, one a day. You can't build up an immunity to it. It's you know, yeah, it's it's magic. So science doesn't apply to it. But you don't take it. No, of course not. I'm already have you in studied the magic system of the human body. I have actually, yes. Um, it was How one of the things that. The system, mm, there, it's the nervous system is actually made up. That was another consequence of the yeah, industrial walk. revolution. <laughs> Well, the brain no, no, doesn't no. exist. There's a little no. guy. Considering that, that whatever. How do I went inside out? Think about it. That's actually false. Um, I, I, you know, I, th I thought you were aware of this, but the, the magic system of the human body is actually just an invisible shield around the nervous system. Um, not a shield, like it doesn't protect you from anything. It's just like an invisible it's layer of layer. magic yeah. over the human the human nervous system. And that's what gives you life, not the nervous system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't that, make that's sense if like, that was the explanation. You know, that's that's what gives you life. It also doesn't have any weight, so there's no way to prove that it's there. You just have to trust me, guys. I swear. Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Source, trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. It's, it's true. It's true. It's true. Source is that it's true. Is that canon? Yes. No. Pistol. Abe? I'll fight both of you right now. I'll fight both of you right now. Foil? No. Foil is the only valid form of fencing, and I stand by that. Wrong. Toesies. <laughs> 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 elaborate. Oh, yeah, no, elaborate on that. What, what, are, what, are what is Tozies? Tozies are the highest form of athletics achieved by humankind, <laughs> which, just like in any normal fencing match, we have to. Well, no, have, I thought we were, I thought we went over this that the the highest form of human combat is actually cricket. Please do not interrupt him. I want to hear everything about Tozies. <laughs> yeah, but Tozies, yes, Tozies, Tozies is, is not above the, cricket. You know, it's it the same be. same uniform and all, and you just balance on one foot. <laughs> And kick with the other. And um, the only rule is that there are no socks or shoes allowed. <laughs> so, I, so is it similar enough? to the foot? Is it similar a, to the foot game in that way, where you you are you, not wearing well, shoes? There's a reason why we call it cozies when we you have the same similar thing underneath the table. Or what? Footsies, footsies oh, oh, I see, table, I see, I see, right? I see, I see. The cozies is the more competitive form because you have to take into account. The dexterity of your toes and, and grappling um, between toes. You know, it's a very advanced sport. Um, I actually was able to witness a match um, the other week. It was, it was very, very interesting. Um, I had to leave at a certain point though because I just had to vomit um, profusely <laughs> because I was watching toe wrestle. So it's it's definitely not for the light of heart, um, but just to uh, witness. I have a question. I have, I have a question first. I have a question first. Okay. So so 
is it against the rules uniform wise if I wear the toe socks and or the toe shoes? Cause that, cause that, that doesn't affect wait, 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 wait. toe dexterity. Toe, what do you mean by like toe shoes? Is it shoes that you know what I'm talking about? Your toes? You know what I'm like, talking what you, about. <laughs> like the, the shoes that with have the toe toes? outline. They're, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why I see. I see. I see. Because surrounding they, both of those. Because because I guess it could be argued they increase toe dexterity and that's doing it's, it's basically a PED, you know. Well, I think depending on the form, say say you had like a latex uh, form of, of of toe coverage that could reduce the the grippiness of the other person's toes. It may also increase um, <laughs> certain certain levels of uh, things that. I don't think uh, the public. Is seems like seems like you put a lot of thought into How did this you find out toe about game. This? Yeah, like, do you watch toe these on the regular? Is it like F1? as a disclaimer for all those <laughs> listening or any recording to any future career I may have? <laughs> please, please do not take this as a record of my character. I am neither interested nor do I have. Any uh, fascination with the fashion, the uh, fictional sport of toesies, it is merely a bit. I apologize. So his name is Michael Landis, and <laughs> you're not in studio with us right now. Don't. But dox I just me. saw his toes, Stop. all four toes, Don't and all four fingers me. were crossed. <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> all four. Don't oh, dox me. Oh, of course, all four. Hometown. No, I'm kind of editing that out now. I will get your IP address. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that actually. One two zero point one four point. Exactly. Is that your IP? I don't know. I don't Fantastic know point, but your mom. <laughs> so tell us more about Tosi. Well, actually, speaking of your mom, uh, she so was the Tosi's champion. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you find out about it. <laughs> That was your introduction your, to the sport. Your mother, your mother was a big player in the sport. No, it's, it's is, the, is that how she about your father? It's the famous Finnish player, your mom. <laughs> okay. Finnish. Finnish. What do you mean by that? From Finland. Finland. What do you the mean country by that? Finland. Sounds made up. I mean, all countries are made up. If you think That's about true. it. That's true. That's very true. Go down that rabbit hole. Well, just well, like speaking of made up countries, have you ever heard of Canada? No. Tell me about it. Canada? Tell me about it. <laughs> what is Canada? Well, it's like knockoff Canada. Basically, there were like these five guys way back in... Uh, like the burger you know, joint? Yeah, yeah, like the burger joint. Okay. Not the same five guys, different five guys. But, they but did five own, guys. Yeah, they did own a burger joint called Five, five guys. guys. They got sued, actually, because there was an already five guys in Canada. So in Canada, um, oh, they basically Canada. bought a bunch of land off like the edge of Canada like you know where it like goes out and it looks like there's like a bunch of islands uh, on the Canada. east or west coast of they Canada. bought a bunch of that land and decided to name it Canada so that they could have oh no D C A N A A apostrophe apostrophe yes of course comment to the top comment to the yeah like Sha Dynasty I don't I don't have to spell that exactly like that okay so C A N A Apostrophe. To God's comma. A. Yes. Okay. All right. Just make uh, sure. Uh, you know, Canada, for accounting uh, cor- for accounting purposes. Yeah, of course. Uh, so Canada uh, is not actually a real country, though, because when they tried to declare it separate from Canada, Canada simply just said no. Um, and they're like, well, how can you stop us? And Canada reminded them that it was a country with an army. Um, and so the five guys. Canada uh, didn't have a, doesn't have an army. No, it's only five guys. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> they not kill them with French fries. And they're five guys. I mean, they're well. No, it's, it's a burger joint, but they actually don't uh, serve fries at their version of Five Guys. Version, it's a separate restaurant. It's just also called Five Guys, which is why they wanted to buy their own and land and separate. Is it a burger guys joint? Dies. <clears throat> what? Did the Five Guys dies? No, they're still. Canada is still around today. Uh, you know, it, it may have been. I thought. I thought about the. the army. No, it's me. Okay, well. Let me explain. Maybe so a basi- basically, here. basically, there's no retcon. So basically, right? There's never retcon. Uh, back in the age-old days of 2016, um, you know, way back when, mm-hmm. the these five guys built their own Five Guys restaurant that was called Five Guys, but wasn't Five Guys. No, let me finish. Slight interjection no, when you're when you're ready. Uh, so <clears throat> these five guys basically 
uh, got sued by five guys. By those five guys. By yeah, by those five guys, the big organization five guys. These five guys. Those five. Guys. Um, because five guys is already a trademark in Canada. Is there a so what they guys? did is buy um, a bunch of land off the coast of Canada and try and call it Canada, except for the Canadian government disagreed with them and said, "Hey, look." Uh, you can have this land, you own it, but it's still Canada. You can't claim you're separate, like, that's cheese and you can't do that. Um, when they said we're doing it anyway, Canada threatened them with the National Guard. And so although it's not officially, it's a make-believe country because it's not officially recognized by any governing body on the entire planet at all. No no governing body is recognized Canada, Canada itself. itself. Well, Canada is not a governing body. Are you it's a governing bodies. body? It's five bodies. Um, Are you a governing body? I am a governing body. He is not a body. But are you a governing body? Yes or no? Answer I'm a governing straight. body, but only so far so as the you, definition applies without the word body. So do you or do not recognize Canada? No, I do not. Okay. It's just five. It's just the five okay. guys. Okay, okay. Because like, I just needed a quick clarification. You know, if these five guys got to claim that Canada was actually a real country, they would simply just like you know what's to stop me from saying that my house is a different country than the U.S. The United States. Yeah. Exactly. And that's yes. Yeah. So so it's basically what's, just like that. It's what can counts. I can I interject now? Yeah, sure, sure. Speaking of 2016 being so long ago, <laughs> next year, kids born in 2018 are going to kindergarten. Okay, moving on. That's um, wild. Bro. I'm just saying. It's that's crazy. Wow. It's almost like I care. You don't. No, I don't. Of course not. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just want to say. He has lost my privileges. <laughs> And I just realized that for some reason I could not say privileges correctly that first time. Nope. It's because we took away his privileges for why being Italian. Why do yeah. I lose my privileges for being Italian? Because you're Italian. Just for toesies. That's true. Give me back the mic. No, take back the mic. The people need to hear the truth. <laughs> I am merely true. a vehicle for Don't this truth. Toesies. That's so disappointing. Oh my god, I'm disappointed in you. All right, I'm back, everybody. Um, so, what were we talking? Industrial Revolution. Do we get Disney, callers Henry show? Ford and Andrew Jackson? Can we get uh, some callers? We get callers? Uh, our phone number for this show we is actually... nine one one. It is not nine one one. Do not call nine one one. I believe I could get in legal trouble for that. <laughs> Well, Once actually, again, actually, everybody. Actually, we do have a phone here, um, which the number is 610-409-347. Or 337s. 610-409-3777. Call in. The, the Give us your thoughts. Well, the problem with that is that it's probably not connected. We can call it now and check, but I don't think it's connected. All right. I'll give him your personal phone number. I'll, don't, if you want to get... Like, I have Michael's yeah. personal phone number. Don't get the Michael's personal phone number. <laughs> I knew your address. That'd be on the radio waves right now. I can sing a song about it. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. It works. So our phone does work. Anybody that's out there listening, for some reason, call in. Oh my god. I can't believe... The lines are ringing out of control. Yeah. Wow. 610... Uh... <laughs> 610-409-3777 Call in. Give us your thoughts about anything. We might answer, we might not. Call in. We are, we are a profound bunch and we are quite well-rounded if I do say so myself. Are. I honestly cannot believe the phone works. That's really funny. Uh, Wow. If only there were live listeners. If only. If only. If uh, only we were recorded up. Yeah. Well, you know, we, 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 we record these uh, Fridays at 4. Feel free to call at any point after. It is not 4 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock. Yes, but uh, that's not when we're recording it. I don't know why you're getting very close to me right now. It's making me a little bit uncomfortable. I'm gonna be what honest. are you guys doing? I want well, the, while this I want goes on, let me continue on about the Henry I'm Ford and Walt Disney and their inventions. Um, in order to make more money, Walt Disney and Henry Ford needed like a business. They needed something people would want to buy because food at that time was free and so was water. Um, wait, wait, wait. Well, human go, rights were a thing go, back then. No, no, no. Walt Could you Disney just, uninvented human I would appreciate if you would go back and just say that again because I was distracted by a bird. In to, sum, to summarize, uh, Walt Disney and Henry Ford eliminated human rights. Um, so beforehand, 
in all of the world, water and food was free. Um, and so, so because of this, uh, well, I say free, you know, people still had to do stuff to get it, uh, like buy, buy it with money, but money hadn't been invented yet. So it wasn't like real money, it was like trading. People would trade for So did Monopoly it. money exist at this point? No, Monopoly money was actually uh, when the printing press gets paper jammed, uh, when they're printing money, because as yes. we all know, you can simply just paste money. Uh, yeah. Just print, you can simply print money on any paper. Um, no yeah, on any paper. paper. There's no special paper. Mm. No so when it gets jammed, though, the money comes out looking fake. That's what we like use as monopoly. Pink uh, and purple and blue. Yeah, and exactly. And orange. Like you know, oh, the yes, ink yes, leaks so, in. Yeah, like, like you have a paper uh, jam, and then it's like, oh, my, my paper is pink. Now it's worth five hundred monopoly money. Yeah. Um, what is the economy in monopoly world like? <laughs> it well, is quite the dystopia. I think it trickles down. I think it trickles down your pants. There is no follow up. Why? There is no follow up. Is there like a Federal Reserve in the monopoly? Well, Treasury? there is a bank. The bank is centralized. Is there a mint? Well, uh, the bank is not. The, the Monopoly Bank is actually based off of the real bank back when Walt Disney and Henry Ford were around. It was only uh, one singular bank. bank. Yeah, it was the bank. Walt Disney and Henry Ford. Well, no, it was, it was owned by. It was owned by uh, Andrew Jackson. Not Alexander Hamilton, the proponent of a national bank. That's not a real person. Don't make up names. Yeah, he was based off the. I'm not sure if you heard of it. He, he was off the Broadway play Hamilton. Yeah, they made a Broadway play about a fake historical yeah. figure. That's probably where oh, you. I'm thinking, thinking of Lin Manuel Miranda. Yes, yes, yes he was yes, not alive yes. then. Uh, well, but, 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 but Andrew Jackson invented banks before Lin Manuel Miranda got a chance. Uh, so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lin Manuel Miranda does not know anything. So in reality, in that play, Lin, Mar Lin Manuel Miranda plays Alexander Hamilton, who is basically just an allegory for. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel Miranda, Miranda also has access to the immortality, the immortality really, pill. Really pronounced Manuel. No, in his name. <laughs> that I, feels. I have a slight speech impediment in that moment, and I just. There's so many <laughs> words coming out of my mouth. Spon spontaneous. Yeah, speech spontaneous. Speech impediment. Speech impediment. I was stumbling over my words. Right. Not all mistakes can be forgiven. That's true. There are some, um, as my are a sinner. Boss said, <laughs> <laughs> there are no such things as mistakes, just happy accidents. Like Ty. Uh, well, well, actually, I was fully planned. My sister, on the other hand. Wow. <laughs> I feel bad for your sister. So do I. Wow. Uh, anyway. Why do you feel bad for her? Let's get into this. Let's uh, do some psychoanalysis. Why don't you lay on the couch and I'll show you some Rorschachs and also and ask how many feel. This one You can't is... say you're gonna show me some Rorschachs and then just pull out pictures of my parents fighting, John. That's not okay. <laughs> that was a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh what are we what are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> You're the driver of this conversation bus, so <laughs> that's true. We're simply along for the ride. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, what are we? What are we? Who's Andrew Jackson inventing banks. the bank? So that's why he um, eliminated the debt when he was president. Exactly. Uh, so well, basically, what ended up what ended up what it ended up being was that um, Walt Disney needed mm -hmm. a place to store all of his new money that he was printing. Because now people were like, hey, I kind of want that weird green stuff. Let me steal it. Um, and so Walt had to fight off a lot of thieves back in the day, which is what started the Industrial Revolution. Ah. Because uh, Walt realized people wanted this money thing for some reason. Because, uh, you know, they were what, crazy. What, no, 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 no. These thieves wear. You're contradicting what, yourself wardrobe? right now. Yeah. You are contradicting yourself right now. How? Because you said that money was the start of the Industrial Revolution. But previously, you said that the Industrial Revolution started to make paper. By that point, money was already around. So did money no, start the No, 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 no. Print, printing presses were invented. And yes. then they needed paper, right? Yes, and that's part so, of the so, Revolution. Okay. But, but I, 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 I elaborated on that. Battle Star Galactica. Wrong. Uh, basically, the, 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 uh, the bear, bears. <laughs> The bears. Uh, the bears. Wait, your science bears? No, no bears. The the bark of the trees Beast? after the Industrial Revolution got Industrial? ashy. Like it was it was getting darker, which is what I was saying. Um, and so they had a hard time printing money. That's why they say you can't just print money nowadays. Is because uh, the white birch trees are actually a lot more rare now than the trees that have like absorbed ash. So money does not grow on trees anymore. It does. It's just much harder to get. You know. Peanuts? 
Well, actually, actually, no, um, as we know, peanut butter is green, and so because of the greenness of peanut butter, it was used as a substitution. Yeah, greenness. It was used as a substitution for money uh, during the year. It was like it was between I think during 18, the Great for, Depression. Well, it was between 1842 and 1853. Um, they used peanuts instead of the birch wood because Walt Disney, and this is where the original bank comes in. Walt Disney needed a place to store all of the seeds for the white birch trees. Um, as long as well as money, you know, because he was trying to show that. They're equally as valuable. Yes, yes, equal as valuable. One so, three. so they created these. They created a bunch of banks, you know say, and in these banks, um, fish. exactly, exactly. So in these banks, the they would have like okay. greenhouses specifically set up to uh, to farm the white birch trees. But then only the elite have these trees, and because of that, that's why we have you know such a thing with problem with money nowadays is because only the rich have the way, ability to just print more money. So you questioned about the uh, fish saying. I just want to clarify for the listeners. The fish? The what? saying goes, uh, catch a man a fish, he feeds him for one meal. Teach a man a fish, he's fed for his whole life. So Wrong. I wanted to clarify my prior statement. <laughs> I meant to say I didn't know who asked. I don't really think that worked the way it did, but... No, it, was, it wasn't it funny at all. It wasn't. No. No. You need to try harder. Yeah. I'll redeem myself with one word. Why don't you redeem yourself some bitches? <laughs> one word is all I need to win over the hearts of the audience, because everybody knows I'm the fan favorite. Toesies. <laughs> I will. I'll scream. I'll just scream into the mic, honestly. Um, did you do the Wordle today? I did indeed. It was quite the interesting word. It was. Did you do the Wordle? I did do the Wordle today. I can't believe the Wordle today was just Wordle. That's wild. You did do the Wordle. I did do the Wordle. I'm going to say it, so. No, don't. Okay. I, yeah, I suppose. No one listens to this anyway, so. That's not true. Did you do the Wordle? Yes. Give me a hint at what the Wordle was. You'll feel it in your stomach. Okay. So, yeah, we all did it. That's what, that's what the hint I was given was, yeah. If you'll feel it in your gut. I was I was more nuanced. Yeah, he was. It was I, it was it was a clever way to clue me on what it was. I didn't even ask for the hint. As we're all well aware, Michael loves nuance. Tired on the other hand. I'm a big fan of nuance, but only when it's other people who I disagree with. I don't. You're very nuanced in approaching disagreement. You seem to. Yes. Yeah, well, well, for for clarif right? for clarification, what I mean is like you're very egalitarian. If I say something that's true and then someone else says something that's also kind of true but has absolutely no substance behind the argument i would prefer them to use nuance because i would rather that person not agree with me uh, so for thee, but not for me. so exactly, in a way exactly. you see both sides you don't see the world as black and white you just don't see colors at all no what no i, I am colorblind actually like fully colorblind no like red green colorblind no i don't remember what it's like, like blue some, yellow colorblind i think so like purple green colorblind <laughs> no. So you're egalitarian. So you don't see color. What is so egalitarian? What? No. No. So really, so really, both sides have the same point. Is that what you're saying? No. They're equally as, as bad as and as equally as, as good. What are you talking Your political about? Political opinions tend to side on the middle. What, well, what uh, thrives on the radio? Let's call it. Um, so I, I think. Well, Henry well, we all hit. I think I think we all know that Joe Rogan is just Henry Ford. He shaved his hair um, to hide himself in modern day because immortality pills are not supposed to be modern knowledge. Henry Ford is that what it means by DMT? Yeah, that's why he's such a big drug guy. The it's aligning. DMT actually stands for dead man talking because everyone thinks that Henry Ford is dead. But really, but he's, he's alive. not. And he, he's alive and he's talking. And he's trying to tell us, so but no one will listen. Yeah, he's he's, he's leaving it. He's, he's leaving it behind. Um, kind, kind of similar, kind of similar to uh, you know, as we all know, uh, Ben Shapiro is just the reincarnated form of former Roman Emperor Caligula. Um, and so, it's are, very all former, to that. are all former? Are all former? Leaders reincarnated? No, no, of course not. Uh, only back in Rome before they had enough science to build the immortality pills. Um, because you can be reincarnated if you want. Uh, most people don't have their memories, but a lot of crazy people, because they're so insane, uh, keep their memories. That's why Caligula still remembers who he was. Mm. Yeah. Is he is he mourning the loss of his horse? Well, the horse is horse? not actually a horse. Um, you know, as, as we know, is horse tied? 
Yeah. Well, it's no, been wrong, many, many wrong, years. wrong. His horse did not die. As we, die. as we all know, um, there are, you know, fairies are real. Um, the horse was actually just a fae uh, who Caligula kidnapped. Um, so it escaped, it escaped, and got back to the, you know, the world of the, the natural world. So it, it actually uh, of made itself. sense for Caligula to anoint his horse as a senator. Yes. Well, kind of. It, it, it had Stockholm syndrome at this point, but um, it, it was me and a couple, the horse other, or Caligula. A couple other Roman revolutionaries who uh, came in and uh, broke out the horse, and we saved a couple other 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 people that uh, Caligula had kidnapped. Like. Like, who were the people that kidnapped? Well, like, you wouldn't know their names. None, they're not famous. Caligula just kidnapped a lot of people. Uh, just yeah. for fun? Yeah, just for fun. He, he was kind of great. He was a crazy guy. Did you uh, take part in uh, freeing these folks? Yes, I just said that I did. You did? I literally said two seconds You did say that. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing the camera's not near you. Suck. I mean, the, the microphone. Yeah. yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Uh, well, it looks like from the from the board, mm, it looks like toesies. <laughs> Top saying toesies. You know what? I think it's time that we talk about the foot game. Um, this is a game. Is it a game where you yell out a part of the body uh, louder and louder? No, this was not invented by me. This was invented by a teacher I had in, in high school. Um, what year was that? All of my four high school years. When what year? What year? The time. Uh, when? when did I go? I've actually been to high school so many times, I don't remember. I, I just go back to regain, you know, humans evolve, so I need to go back and learn human knowledge so that I can keep up with humanity. Um, but this this was my most recent so high school, so probably, probably like theory? 2016 around. So you're discrediting the creationist theory? That's kind of a bold take. On the record? Yeah. Well, well, creationists, uh, everybody, you know, you know, like the good place says everyone's a little bit right. Uh, creationists are a bit wrong. Um, but there was someone who created stuff. It's just that, like, it's more like a Lego set, you know? You have to put each piece in a special spot or else the set is not going to end up being built correctly. If you just open the box, you can't just claim that that's a Lego set, you know what I mean? That's kind of how evolution and, and stuff works. You, you had to have the dinosaurs so that mammals would evolve in a specific way, you know what I mean? It's all part of building pieces, I know what you building mean up. About everything you've said in the past 48 minutes. 47 minutes and 36 seconds. Um, oh, I what? Don't have a, a question that <laughs> That's I what the recording says. Uh, unless, oh, yeah, question, question. No, no, continuing go. Continuing along on a uh, train of thought, I don't want to interrupt this. This would be a different branch. Well, I, we never did finish about the Industrial Revolution, but just, just to summarize, uh, Organically Walt, Walt, Di Walt Disney, you know, kind of kind of sucked as a person. So did Henry Ford. Andrew okay. Jackson was just an awful person in general and total, and he deserved everything that he got. Um, in in hell, he's he's in hell currently. Uh, yeah, in case you were, yeah. I was about to say, is the presidency really? Burned? No, no, no. He's he's currently in hell. Um, so yeah. Anyway, to summarize, Industrial Revolution. Uh, Walt Disney had he built he built the uh, he he needed people to make him stuff. Just everything, basically. You know, pens, 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 pencil, uh, more printing presses so we could print more money. Because as we all know, printing money is exactly how the economy works. Um, like and cold cash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like cold cash. Why can't we just print more money? <laughs> exactly. Well, right. we can. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dear finance majors. Why? Yeah, finance why majors, uh, call in 610-409-3777. We are three non-finance majors, and we can debate you on why money is yeah. stupid. We are four... Um, <laughs> We are three proud not finance majors. Exactly. Very, very proud. That is the distinction. Also, made. not business. Yeah. I I fully believe we, business. Two of I, us are science I'll majors, accept, and I'll, one is a fake science major. I'll let you yeah, decide who's um, a fake science major between the two of you. So as we know. Uh, going to med school is not getting a real PhD slash doctorate, and as such, the two real scientists who intend to get PhDs, um, of course, being me and Simba from The Lion King, um, are more real science majors than uh, the random Italian guy. Doctor? Wahoo! Doctor? 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 Anyways, my question. Yeah, right, yeah go, go ahead. Go ahead. So this, this is a physics-related question. Oh, of course. Um, so say two um, quite chummy pals decided that they were out and about on town, and they, they decided had, they were out and about on town. They, they can that, declare it to themselves. That was an okay. addendum. Yeah. They decided while they were out on the town. Yeah, of course, right? of course, of course. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, but they needed to go to the bathroom, you see? 
right? Yeah. You see, the thing is, they're on a very strict deadline, and it seems that there's only one urinal. Now, the physics <laughs> problem is as follows. If both men take a stance in which, in a normal scenario, their streams would not actually hit the urinal as they are aimed too far left or too far right, but these streams were to connect at some point in between them, what percentage of the fluid would hit the urinal itself? So no. first you want to start, start by drawing a diagram. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's easier to solve the problem when you can see the problem. Yes, except for nobody can see the problem here. So let, let, let me describe to you exactly what would happen. Basically, the angle theta basically is 37. Wrong. wrong. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second. Well, debatable. The universal debatable. gas constant is 8.314 <laughs> times 10 to the negative 3 joules per, I forget the actual unit. Coulomb? It's joules. No, no, that's, 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 Kelvin, that's no, wrong. No, it's Kelvin. It's, it's, it's joules for, ke for it's, Kelvin mole. Yeah, it's, no, it's joules. Kelvin? It's always like joules. Temperature? But it's oh, gas, because gas is based on temperature. Oh, I knew yeah, that part. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. So, Anyways, let me ask you, me so ask Pivner, you a neuroscience question. Um, certainly. So, you know, just wondering mentally, it, if nobody asked, why would you answer? You know what I mean? Uh, because I, I'm looking around here, and I'm not finding a single person who asked. And yet, you still said what you said. You know what I mean? You see, it's quite the interesting uh, dilemma that you've brought up. It's a, it's a, it's a principle in neuroscience. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, in fact, there's currently a case study that's going on at this very college. Um, it's actually quite nearby, where we actually have students that come into a room that they, they're not entirely sure the purpose of the room. Um, and all they do is talk about what they want to talk about, and then we, we secretly have a, a research assistant join them and pretend to um, make their ramblings coherent or, or comment, make things quote unquote entertaining. But in reality, um, behind you know a yellow and red wall, there, there's actually some um, observers taking track of the amount of lines of logic, the amount of questions, the amount of times of the of the keyword that's very important to, to, to the data tracking, which is toesies. Um, and that's it, it's a very important data set. Um, <laughs> toesies, of course. Is that what they told you when they shoved you in here through that door? I was not shoved. He was pushed. I was threatened by gunpoint. Cannon point. Pistol point. <laughs> Toe okay. point. Oh no. Tozy's point. <laughs> if I was threatened by Tozy's, I would fight back. Like the Tozy's enthusiast I am. Whoa, would you whoa. fight back with You the alleged toes? earlier yeah, what? in this hour, you alleged that you are not <laughs> you are not, you are not a casual <laughs> ca uh, enthusiast. Are you saying that you are a fan of Tozy's? The people need to know. Yeah. It's essential. Disclaimer, I am not. Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Again, if Again, anyone is the listening, phone number to call in 610-409-3777. Just call so in. that you can hate on Tozies with us. Um, you can. We'll talk about anything. Air. Yeah. We have about 11 minutes left, so if anybody's out there, yeah, anybody, please call in. Call in. We're more than happy to talk to you. Well, not more than happy. I'm, I'm a medium out of happiness. Yeah, medium, mid. I'm like mid. neuroscience. Exactly. <laughs> and actually, actually, now that we're talking about science, I want to bring up uh, Sigmund Freud. Yeah, because no. yeah. you, you must have met him, right? What? You met him, no? I did. I hated him so much. He was such a bad. I just, I hate him. I was all the, was all the cocaine? It was it was mostly cocaine, but I met him uh, when he was sober actually. Before he started doing cocaine, he just sucks as a person to be around. All you would talk. Did you about, ever meet his mother? I did. She also was she hated smoking? him. She was not. No, hmm. surprisingly. Um, all he would talk about was his mother, actually, and it was really disgusting, and I hated all of it. Um, and then at one point, uh, I was I was with some f uh, female friends of mine, not not girl like because I almost said girl female. I almost said girlfriends, but I want to clarify, I did, I wasn't dating any of them. You know, they were just friends of mine who were girls. And Freud comes over and was like, Ah, how do you women feel about penis envy? And um, you know, of course, they all kicked his teeth in. Uh, because why would you say that? Why would you? Sounds ever like he's that? stuck in a genital stage of development. 
He is actually. He is for some reason or is was. Michael knows what that means now. since um, neuroscience and psychology are the same thing. That's he true. knows exactly that's what that very means. Very true. There's not a difference between the two sciences. I apologize for cutting you off. I didn't make yeah, that distinction uh, well, for the well, people. Well, you know, I was just, just going to talk about how Sigmund Freud. You know, all he would talk about was he thought he was like the biggest uh, psychological slash philosophical mind around, but all the stuff that he said was just very wrong and dumb and stupid. Um, and so I, th I think at one point he made the claim that every woman is actually jealous of their mother because they want to be with their father, which is, of course, explicitly wrong, and he's, in fact, a dumb, stupid idiot. Yep. <laughs> uh, anyway. You know, as, you're not going to hear any brushback from this side of the room. Honestly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course. Uh, as we know, you know, uh, neuroscience and psychology are the same. So Freud was actually... Uh, not even a psychologist, really. He was just an idiot who didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> uh, he didn't know what he was talking about. A lot of Freud's assertions, actually, um, you know, I, I'm sure I'm sure we remember uh, Freud's most important assertion, the, what is it, id, ego, and superego. Um, you know, everyone everyone thinks that they're based off of, uh, based? you know. Well, yeah, Are you Freud, claiming that Sigmund Freud is based? I No. Am I? It's based good or bad. Based is just based. Based. Based? If based. it's bad, then yes. If it's good, then no. Is. Was that Freud? No, that was that was, that, that was my boy Descartes. Descartes. Yeah, Descartes. Uh, did you just say Descartes? Yes, I did. Descargo. He was French. He was French, and he probably yeah. did eat a lot of snails. It makes a lot of the sense. the worst country in Europe, France. Ah, I'd have to counter with Britain. Brit but it's I mean, really, in your, it's an island, you know? Like, at any point, we could just get rid of it, you know? A third perspective here, <laughs> Italy. Well, well, yeah. as we know, Italy used to be Rome, and because of that, I don't think that we can take I mean, it, not used to I mean? be, but Rome still exists. It's a city now. No, but I, I, no, I see wrong, what you're saying. Wrong, wrong. Italy used to be Rome. There's but no city back to my point, Russia. back to my point yeah. about Britain, I just can't imagine there's a country out there that will let people go without any dental or orthodontic well, care. Well, well, here's the problem. Because there's no dentist in that country. Currently, legally speaking, um, Britain is in charge of Wales and parts of Scotland, or Scotland and parts of Ireland. And because Scotland, Free Ireland, and Wales Free the North, are, Ireland, my exactly, boys. Exactly. Only know, because they're actually very cool countries, um, getting rid of Britain right now is a problem because we'd end up getting rid of part of Ireland. And I like Ireland. What about... No, no, that'd be getting rid of, that will be getting rid of the UK. I just want to get rid of England. Just, just England. Yeah, See, saw think, it off like Florida. I agree. I agree. I agree. Well, I don't think we should get rid of Florida because where else would we send all of the criminals? True. True. Yeah. Uh, you know, just to, to further expand upon my my entry into this competition of Italy, uh, Exhibit A, Italian people. <laughs> well, but also Exhibit A, French people. Exhibit C. British people. <laughs> Facts. No, he's right. He's right. He's right. I simply believe but British people are a problem. Exhibit Exhibit B. British food. True. Don't even act it like Italian food is an elite. It's just beans and toast. Like beans. Right. Like I don't even need to make British. stuff up about Britain to hate them. They're exactly. They're just awful. They're just awful. Exhibit C. The British accent. Too overdone. Exhibit D. All that rain. There's Exhibit, no. Why do you need that much water? Exhibit A. Why do you need Manchester. that much water? In support of the Italian position. Short Italian people, <laughs> but they have to be bald. Short, bald, like normal short Italians are fine. Bald short Italians. I see right, what you're you know, saying, you know? but now there's anything wrong with being bald. There's something wrong with being Italian and bald and short. Um, and short, yes. Also but comparing short. British food and Italian food, it's it, it's it's not fair. And that's true. That's true. Like Italians have like what is good British actual food that's that tastes good, and they have seasoning in the form of garlic most of the time. Britain's time's stolen enough um, culture at this point, but. Italy? They just have short people. What what does Britain have culturally? They have beans, they have white toast. people. They, they, they have bad teeth. The Anglo Saxons were the first white people. That's true. Probably incorrect, but No, no, that's accurate. I don't think it is. That's canon now. That's canon. No, it's pistol. Okay. Epe? Yeah. Tozies. <laughs> Stop saying tozies. From now on, tozies is a slur, and if you say it, you're a bad person. That's true. Tozies. If you ever say tozies again, we're, it's equivalent to saying the N-word. <laughs> if you say tozies, you openly admit to hate black people. I say it loud, and I say it proud. If you say tozies, you openly admit to hating Maryland. I am not going to say that. Please stop doxing me. <laughs>
<laughs> we're talking well, about. Oh, well, you were already docked. We're, we're talking docked. about mid, by the way, and lack of culture, lack of anything bad, whatever. I think we need to bring in Maryland into this conversation. I all they produce is half frankly. human, half fish beings, and they contribute nothing to the, to the country. Well, 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 as 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 we know, crabs are um, one form of peak evolution. Uh, the other form, of course, being me, uh, which humans are all going to end up being like me at some point. Um, <laughs> you know, immortal, <laughs> immortal and god <laughs> uh, But crabs, crabs are say that a peak to the form of... Uh, that was racist. So... You know what else is racist? The discrimination I'm facing against a peak form of athletic competition by forcing me into a position in which other beliefs which I do not hold are associated with a word. As a cis straight white male. And the word is specifically the athletic competition. There is no confusion over, over that word yet. What yet. athletic competition? <laughs> say if you say it, you hate black people. This is Michael Landis. I'm being... Word. I'm being pushed into a scenario I am uncomfortable with, <laughs> and as such, I will plead the Fifth Amendment. The you know who pleads Amendment. the Fifth Amendment? Guilty people. That's that's wrong, actually. A lot of people just don't like the U.S. government, like me. I plead the Fifth. What would you do if a cop walked in right now? Awkwardly dry hump his leg until he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer I was expecting at all. But you know what? You'd probably get away with it because they love dogs. <laughs> they have a reputation of being quite gentle around dogs. Do they really? I remember them shooting like a dog 15 times. Like Certain week. dogs. What it kind was of pitch, dog was it? Pitbull. Pitbulls face too much. Pitbulls are are. There's too much prejudice against pitbulls. It's true. They're adorable. They pitbulls are heads, sweethearts. Big eyes. They smile. They're, so cute. they're babies that just just want to pet. Service that pitbulls are amazing. Pitbulls are amazing. I so because, I'm proud to say I am on the pitbull left, side. Actually, uh, because we we only have a few minutes left. We should, we, we should discuss what, what we should put in the description of this video to make sure that people uh, are aware of our real beliefs. Hashtag. The highest peak <laughs> form. Me, the highest. You say it, you hate can I, people. Does, that, does that include me too? What? Saying it? No, you can say it. Hashtag. <laughs> neuroscientist mid. <laughs> Hashtag. And the same as psychology. Well, I, I think Maryland sucks. It's I'm got a dumb honest. flag. I'm gonna be honest. I think the worst state in the union is probably uh, uh, no, not Nevada, Nebraska. Agreed. I mean, all the like, states in that kind of region are kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but like at least Idaho has potatoes. They have like the world's largest Pringle. But Iowa, they're just bad. Iowa, but doesn't Iowa? Iowa has like hot springs. I thought doesn't it? Is Nebraska? Is any think. state other than Nebraska triple landlocked? I no, thought not. No, because they're the worst state. Where's triple landlocked? They are landlocked exclusively by double landlocked There's states. Like three states. Every double right landlocked yeah. state is landlocked by landlocked state. states. I was not landlocked like that. By triple landlocked. Nope. Well, Just yeah, Nebraska. Yeah. What, what, it's only what, kind, uh, what state does Iowa border that has any one in water here? Canada. Canada is one I singular think state. And it may be no double um, landlocked because. It is only bordering no, a single Gen genuine question, fellas. No, it's only oceans. Oh, in in the in the map no, I'm thinking. There's of. no way there's two states between Iowa and oh. any coast. No way. Probably. It's got to be triple landlocked. Yeah. I'm uh, looking at the map. There, there's a famous map that shows anyway, Nebraska uh, as the epicenter of the worst parts of. Time is up. Uh, come back, come back next week. Remember to call in next week at a. Four oh nine four six ten four zero nine two five three three. Stop, stop, stop.